You're watching Inside Automotive with Jim Fitzpatrick. Hey everyone, Jim Fitzpatrick, welcome into Inside Automotive right here at the CBT Automotive Network. With EV adoption on the rise, understanding the latest trends is more important than ever. Urban Science recently released its Q4 2024 electric vehicle retail sales report. So today we have Tom Condrit, who is the global lead for advanced analytics at Urban Science, here to break down the data for us. So thanks so much for joining us, Tom. Thanks, Jim, for having me back. Sure. So uh, to kind of set the stage, tell us all about the study. So Urban Science has a pulse on the retail auto industry. We collect sales every day, and that's available through our market growth and market view tools. And through that, we can see a total U.S. picture for retail, all powertrains, all states, uh, the entire industry. And uh, we're happy to release our second quarterly uh, EV micro study that overviews the retail industry and deep dives into EVs uh, nationally. So the, the big picture for 2024 is that retail sales were up about 3%, mm. which was a solid steady growth. But uh, even more interesting, in Q4, sales were up 10% over last year. And uh, EVs continue to grow all across the country. Okay, great. That's great. So um, e let, let's start with the overall retail sales that, that you just touched on, all powertrains. How did the industry perform last year? So the industry really was strong throughout the year. We really had steady growth. And uh, it picked up in October and November um, as we went through the election, sometimes there's a, a little pause. The nation kind of holds its breath to sure. see what happens. And uh, I think we, we came through very strong from an automotive retail standpoint. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there's a lot of questions about next year. But for 2024, we really hit the uh, ended. We closed the year very strong. OK, great. And EV sales, as you mentioned, did, uh, did see a significant growth in 2024. Can you give us more of an overview on that? Absolutely. So all EV types, which we call hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and battery electrics, were up 22% for the entire year, mm. uh, setting another record. Um, but in the fourth quarter, the EV sales grew even faster, and they were up 34% year over year. So um, when you look at the market share for all EVs, uh, they are 22% of all retail sales. That's hybrids, battery electrics, and plug-in hybrids all put together. And how does that compare to 2023? So 2023 was really um, a record year. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of questions to start the year where we started EV sales pretty slow in January and February. But um, it's been two record years in a row. So mm -hmm. 2023 was a record year. We finished around 20%. That's great. Uh, retail. A retail share, and this year we finished 22% retail share. And in the fourth quarter, we're almost at 25% of all vehicles in the country sold as some type of electrified powertrain. Wow, wow, that's fantastic. How big of a role did incentives play in uh, driving EV sales? So um, we have the federal uh, EV you know, Inflation Reduction Act mm -hmm. incentive. Uh, which was pretty broadly applied last year, yeah. uh, that has certainly helped to stimulate growth. Mm -hmm. um, California is a very interesting study because around November of last year, California ended its state uh, uh, rebate program. Okay. And so battery electric sales this year in California were actually flat, only up a 3% in California. So California is the number one state for battery electric sales. Right. So that definitely had an impact when you look at the national numbers. But in many places throughout the country that have no incentive, places like Florida, mm -hmm. uh, EV sales did spectacularly well. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Florida, you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily think that, but that, that's, that's interesting. Those, uh, those retirees down there want to go EV. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a very diverse state. Right. Um, you have a lot of growth. You've got a right. whole lot of population moving in, so that certainly helps. Yeah. Uh, so Florida, two years in a row, wow, is the number two state for battery electric and really all EV sales in wow. the country. Number two, and what's interesting is Florida has no state incentive program. They have no uh, carb 
uh, you know, caps. So they're really um, kind of a free for all in terms of state yeah. incentives and state mandates. And yet EV sales are up 43 percent. Oh, my God. Last year. And you're, you're not including golf carts in that, right, Tom? That, <laughs> we are that not. Would, That's a good question. You know, that would, that would they, they would win every year, you know? So, they no, that's great. Be, yeah. <laughs> 43%. Wow, that, that is incredible. So, uh, so the notion, as we used to talk about a couple of years ago, where it's like, oh, EVs, nobody's buying them, nobody wants them. In the last year, that has pr changed pretty substantially. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's going to be a progressive, um, s slow evolving transition. Sure. And, you know, unlikely that we'll ever get to 100%, mm -hmm. in my view. Um, but in terms of a best of breed, um, multiple powertrains being available for the right consumer in the right sure. place for the right lifestyles, we're going to see all these three major electric powertrains be a significant story in 2025 and for the foreseeable future. That's great. Do you have any numbers on the number of people that are um, buying their second or third EV? Because I think that would be a good indication as to whether or not the trend's going to continue um, versus those that tried an EV and maybe didn't like it, they went back to an ICE engine. Is it? Do, do you happen to know if the trend is that once they go EV, that's it? That's their car of choice? Yeah. If you look at uh, you know the big picture, there are a lot of folks, according to the survey data through our Harris Poll survey, yeah. that once they test drive an EV, once they purchase one, um, they're not going back. Wow. I mean, it's it's something like uh, 80% in that wow. part. That's fantastic. So, yeah. So it's, it's um, but place to place, we're seeing different things happening. So for example, in, uh, in San Francisco market, San Francisco market is about 33% battery electrics. Okay. And last year they were flat for battery electric sales, hmm. but hybrid sales were up over 45%. Okay. So what we see happening is oftentimes people will get one battery electric and then for their other vehicle, okay. they may be much more open to a hybrid or a plug-in hybrid okay. or battery, any one of the three. Okay. And so that's a very interesting dynamic to watch sure. as, as the market goes forward, new models are introduced, right. new powertrains are introduced and new segments. Um, you'll see a really a mix of people buying their first EV, purchasing their garage mate EV, right. um, replacing their EV. So it's, it's going to be all of the above. That's fantastic. So were there any uh, surprises or unexpected trends in 20, 2024 sales data that surprised you? So Colorado uh, mm -hmm. surprised us in the extent of the growth. So just to um, level set this, so in the fourth quarter, mm -hmm. Colorado EV sales were up 92%. 92% wow. in the state of Colorado. Oh my God. It's very, very interesting dynamic. You've seen the automakers, as California has pulled back on their state incentive, mm -hmm. Colorado has retained theirs. Okay. So state of Colorado has a $3,500 rebate, which applies to battery electrics and plug-in hybrids. Mm -hmm. And so you've seen a lot of creative lease deals, a lot of creative retailing to sell mm -hmm. every last EV that the manufacturers can in the state of Colorado. And they are right now, 37% of the sales in Colorado are some form of an EV. Mm -hmm. And battery wow. electrics are over 20% of the share of sales in Colorado. So that was a huge growth story yeah. for one state. Wow, that, that is fantastic. As we move into 2025, what key trends should the industry watch out for in the EV market? So the what happens with the federal rebates, with yeah. the Inflation Reduction Act, right. um, that's going to determine a whole lot of okay. what happens in the industry. Uh, you also have the tariff question that's been in the news yep. lately. And so there's a lot of negotiation there going on with a lot of imports and components and those kinds of things. So those are two huge stories that the dealers and the manufacturers are going to watch very closely. And um, the other things that I think are interesting, though, is I, I mentioned California earlier, mm -hmm. and that's a very interesting case study for the rest of the country, because, as I mentioned, uh, in, in November of 2023, California ended its state rebate program. 
Since that time, sales have been flat for battery electrics in California. Okay. Now, they haven't decreased, but they haven't grown much either. Right. So if the U.S. Uh, pulls back on that federal incentive, if it's phased out, if it's, um, if it's cut quickly, right. uh, you're, you'll see some impact, certainly, with battery electric sales. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the estimates range from down 20% to even some growth. But um, I think with the amount of new vehicles that are coming out this mm -hmm. year, the new models, the new brands, um, the new Model Y, all of that will stimulate some growth. And I think we're going to end 2025 over 25 percent market share for all EVs combined of hybrids, battery okay. electric. OK, plug -in. that's still a very formidable number. I mean, that's that's at least trending in the right direction. I think there's probably a lot of dealers that are hearing that and uh, have got a lot of uh, hope, you know, for the future with regard to EV and, and uh, you know, hybrid vehicles, because uh, as you know, it's gotten kind of a bad rap over the last couple of years. And so many dealers were, you know, complaining that these are, these vehicles are just not selling, but, uh, but the numbers tell otherwise, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, all brands, not Tesla, grew 40% in their battery electric sales last year. So wow. all brands combined wow. are up 40%. And yeah, you've got the, the new models like the Prologue, mm -hmm. the Equinox um, that are really hitting the ground running. Yeah, And so um, we expect more of that to continue this year. The marketplace is going to get more competitive. Yeah. Battery uh, infrastructure is going to make batteries uh, cheaper to produce. Mm -hmm. And that will have a positive impact on the uh, convenience and the pricing of battery electric vehicles. And what kind of an impact has it had, have all of these other non-Tesla brands had on Tesla sales? So the, the uh, Tesla's market share has dropped um, about uh, down to 51%. So about uh, eight points wow. uh, nationally. Wow. And, and so, um, and in the fourth quarter, they were under 50% of the battery electric share. Okay. So they're down to 46% of battery electric share in the fourth quarter. And that's the first time they've been that low since uh, 2015, I believe. Wow, that, that is really something. Incredible, incredible. Uh, Tom Condrit, Global Lead for Advanced Analytics at Urban Science. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Very much appreciate it and love to have you back. Do a follow up with us. Thank you, Jim. Thanks. Thanks for watching Inside Automotive with Jim Fitzpatrick.